What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, DJ Mustard is really one of the guys I respect in the hip hop community. Um, you know, he's a young guy, you know, he's 31. He's one of the better producers of this generation of rap. And I really like that, you know, the, the 10 Summers, a brand. And the reason why I like that, because 10 Summers was about being in the game for longer than 10 years. And I remember him talking about that and it got me really, really, really inspired. But another thing I liked about the brother is he's been with his baby mama or his wife since they were 19. So before he really, you know, took off and everything like that, he was with her. Um, they have three lovely children together. But DJ Mustard has filed for divorce uh, from his wife, Chanel Terry, I guess her name is. Uh, and it's irreconcilable, irreconcilable differences. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, they had three kids, then got married in 2020, which to me is odd, family. And I don't, I don't know what's going on with the Negroes, but Negroes do things a lot backwards. Okay, let me give you three babies, then get married. Then the relationship ends or the marriage ends 18 months later, which only leads me to believe one issue, that when they got married, they were already having a lot of problems. They were having a lot of problems already, family. The relationship was over already. Like the damage had already been done. The infrastructure was already leaking. And what I feel that a lot of guys do is, you know what? We having a problem right now. If we get married, it'll make it work. But you pretty much been living together like you was married anyway for like 10 years. So trying to make it right, trying to get married. Maybe you know how some sisters are. Look, you didn't gave me three babies. You need to wife me up. I'm tired of being a baby mom. I want to be a wife. And then do that. Then he files for divorce because either number one, he don't want to be a husband to her, which I, I don't think that was the case. But number two, I believe that the problems were already there and they got married before fixing those problems and thinking that marriage would fix those problems. And those problems persisted until he can't take it no more. So she got to go. So let me tell guys this. Um, I know that we're not in the era of that because back in the day, you know, if you got a girl pregnant, you know, they had the, you know, shotgun weddings and, you know, you had to marry her or make her your wife and you had to stay with her. Uh, but, you know, in times like now, and I know there are some brothers living with their baby mama or living with a girl and, you know, you have some tumultuous times. You may love her, but you think that if we take it serious and go to the next step, that getting married is going to solve the problems and get married is not going to solve those problems, guys. You know, because let's say for a guy, if you're a guy that don't really communicate very well, or she's a woman that don't communicate very well, um, just because you get married don't mean that she's going to stop communicating or you're going to really um, value that. The, the, you know, it's really a whole lot is not going to really change except for the fact that legally that you're married and, you know, people know it. Um, what I found out in, in this life is that problems have to be solved before you know you get into something deeper so if we have a problem it's just like you know i have a problem in the in, in in the business let's say we have a tesla right and the tesla we come up with a tesla and the tesla it it breaks down well we're not going to just go public with the broke down tesla no we need to go back and fix the issues right we're not going to go public and try to sell it when there's some some bad manufacturing going on in the automobile. We have to go out and we need to fix this issue. And then once the issue is fixed, then we can go forward. I think that many guys are doing that right now. Many guys are, 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 are gonna get married, trying to please a lady, taking it more seriously. And there are really a lot of things about her that you don't like. There are things about you that she don't like. And so maybe what y'all need to do is if you love each other, you know, move out or she move out or, you know, I'm not going to say the counseling thing because we all know how that goes out for a lot of guys, but maybe you need time apart. Maybe you need to reset 
Maybe you need to see other people. Maybe you need to do other things and then let the, let the, let the chips fall where they may. And then when you come back and maybe you have matured a little bit, then you can come back to it like Neo, you know, uh, and I know this is the manners from the red pill community, but we got to understand, man, feelings are involved in dating. There are some of you men out there that are going to, are going to get married. You're going to love a woman. You're going to get married to her. You want her to be your main woman, but you're going to have these issues. And if you have severe trust issues before you get married, getting married is not going to solve that. It is just like if you don't really love a woman, if she wants to have a baby by you to keep you there, it's not going to keep you there. It's just not. People are compatible or they're not. And there's sometimes people change, man. You know, I'm 41 now. I'm not even the same person holistically that I was when I was 35. You guys know, like, you know, he met this girl when he was young, man. Didn't really know a lot about life. Didn't know a whole lot about money. Um, she's grown up, you know. So people change, man. You know, being 19 and being young and then being exposed to different women, being exposed to different levels of success and you know, and maybe him, him, him looking at other things like, well, I can get some better treatment here. I don't think you're giving it to me there. People change, man. People change over course of friendships, over course of relationships. And, um, and as they change, man, you know, you gotta, you know, be able to accept the person who they're becoming. Some people change for the worse. Some change for the better, you know, like some guys used to run the streets a whole lot when at first, when they got older, they don't do that no more. They don't have that interest anymore. Um, some women used to wear a lot of revealing things and they were young and now as they're older, they might still be thick and, but they don't do it as much or they've lost a desire for that. That might be better. Uh, people change, man. And you know, when you're young and you get involved with a woman, um, and you're getting more success and you get more opportunities. And if that woman isn't on her job, and even if she is on her job, I like mustard, man. You know, you're getting, you know, you're in the hip hop industry. A lot of beautiful girls there, man. A lot of beautiful women there. It's just hard. It's hard for these guys to really stay focused. And then if you have problems with your ex and you know, she don't care that you DJ mustard because to you, you just hurt somebody else. You need to know her all your life. You feel that she's being problematic, arguing all the time. And then you have these other girls that you're just meeting and, 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 and women on the side offering you opportunities. It's difficult, you know. Being a man is, 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 is a marathon, not a, not a sprint. So, you know, you guys really, really, really understand that, you know, long term relationships, people change. You change. Your needs change. Women's sexual needs can also change. It can be like zero. Babies change shit, you know. Sexless marriages are, it exists, bro. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains all time high. I'm out.